Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is just a really quick video, although I'm going to do all the signs, don't. So from Aries to Pisces, but it's just an energy check-in, so it's going to be really quick. We're just looking at a little snippet for February, what's happening in February, what you need to be aware of, right? So we're going to start with Aries. Hi Aries. We're just going to put some cards down and just read the energy. Nothing complicated, we're just going to tune in directly. Okay. So let's see, Aries. We'll do it for Aries. Good. What's the preview? February preview for Aries. I'm going to put all the cards down. So you have Wolf, Moon, Hunger. So um, it's an 11. So there's something you're yearning for. Something that's imminent right now. You're feeling energized. You're feeling um, you're ready. I feel like you're ready. You finally made your mind up about something. Um, some of you, it's like you're dealing with some kind of addictions or something you were doing that you know is not good for you. You're letting go of that, Aries. It could be something, an addiction, or it could be just a habit or just a way of thinking or a way of like operating day to day in your life. So you're leaving, you're letting go of something. You're um, exercising moderation. So with that comes wisdom, obviously. And it's a redirection, actually. Moderation is kind of like what you need right now to really, like, get clarity. I think, it, like, whatever you've been doing, which has been, like, a halting you, yeah. You need to change your MO, change what you've been doing. So that's that moderation. There's something you were doing hastily that you're not no longer doing or something you were believing strongly in that you are just deciding to let go because you know it's no good for you, okay? Let's get some more. So, and it's going to bring you abundance and it's going to be, it's going to help you be able to move forward. You have the Empress and the Six of Swords. So you have movement here. You have the Six of Swords and death. You're letting go of something, therefore moving forward confidently, consciously with moderation, right? Um, towards something you really want. You have hunger and the Empress, something you really desire and want. You're going after it, and I feel like you're going to get it, Aries, okay? Let's get some more cards. Okay. The animal, yeah, you're like very primal in your primal energy, like the wolf. You're a hunter right now. You're going after what you want confidently with force, with strength, with wisdom, though, strength and intelligence. Okay, you are definitely transforming into this, I hear, beast. Not a beast, but like a, this power-hungry, um, power not power-hungry, but um, determined um, energy right now. You're very determined and very um, focused. Yeah, Sagittarius. So Scorpio and Sagittarius. So some of you, it's traveling. You've been wanting to travel for a long time. Go visit some place or something or change. Something has been, a belief has been put on you and you're finally like freeing yourself from that as well. There was some kind of control, like either somebody controlling you or you used, like you having some, something control you, but it comes from you. So that's why I was talking about addictions, right? So you're letting go of that. Let's see what we have here from the Making Magic and finish it off here and go to the next sign. You're healing, basically. You're evolving. You're maturing. So you have Philosopher's Stone, Powerful Manifestation of Wishes and Goals by Harnessing Universal Energy. Exactly. You're coming into power here. There's some kind of magic that is igniting inside of you, you know, meaning the, the, the magic of uh, courage, the magic of deciding and letting go, like consciousness, right? There's You're coming into some kind of consciousness, and it's, an, it's a little awakening. It's a little transformation because you have the death card here, and it's allowing you to get closer to your goals, the empress, okay? So there you go, Aries. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to the channel and check out my Etsy. Everything is down below. See you. Bye. Hello, Leo. 
this is an energy check-in for February. Just like tap into the energy and see what we can look forward to for February for you. You have resistance and you have a blossoming. I feel like you are resisting something here. You are being stubborn. You are... What did I hear? You're being lazy. But it's mostly stubbornness. I feel like you are fighting something that is good for you. You know, you're doubting something. You're not having faith here about something. Leo. Let's see. Get a little bit more clarification for Leo spirit. You have stability. So you have blossoming, uh, resistance, blossoming, stability. Yeah, you're stuck in your ways, I feel. You just don't want to get out of your comfort zone, Leo. Reciprocity. You're not getting out of your comfort zone. You're, there's a stubbornness here. Somebody wants to offer you something and you're just like stubborn about it or you don't believe it. You're blocking it. You're resisting something. Somebody is coming towards you. Somebody wants to offer you something, okay? You have reciproc reciprocity, sorry, and uh, the flower moon with blossoming. Somebody has a really beautiful offer for you. This could be romantic or not, but somebody is offering something. I'm seeing somebody maybe even offering you flowers or something, maybe your birthday. Not your birthday, you're Leo, but maybe you, um, for example, what, what do I want to say? It's the birthday of somebody, not you, because obviously no, but like your mom's birthday. Somebody it wants to offer something to you. Okay. I see flowers anyway. I don't know. Maybe you got a job and somebody offered you flowers, something. I see flowers, a gift. Somebody wants, is coming with a gift with this honeybee, right? From the heart. And, um, it could be the beginning of a really nice relationship, but you're resisting it. You're resisting it, right? Because you don't want your, your stability to, to be disrupted, maybe. Let's get more cards here. It could be an invitation to go out. You're like, no. There's an offer that you're refusing because you're scared. Or stubborn or both four of cups luxury yeah you're refusing see that four of cups in the right away right somebody's sitting sitting there and doesn't even see uh the uh the cup from god or the offer that's coming towards them because they're so focused on the one that's the ones that are in front of him or her so somebody is offering something really beautiful here it says luxury so see somebody's inviting you somewhere or offering you some kind of gift somebody wants to treat you like a princess somebody wants to really take care of you but you're resisting leo I don't know why this is your fortune guys you are not going to regret this this is your go signal you need to go do you need to accept you need to stop being stubborn leo this is beautiful you have will of fortune luxury and reciprocity this person is very trustworthy they're trustworthy they are just they're they're what do you mean they're fair what do you mean i'm talking what do you mean the spirits i'm talking what do you mean they're fair they're very uh, compassionate they're very giving their lo love language is gifts you can learn so much from this person this person has a really healing energy they're not crazy like you're used to because i feel like you're used to crazy see ace of pentacles this person is, there's an offer coming i'm telling you this person is well off as well this person has money or is well established um they're not your usual lambda person here we're talking about somebody very um mystical somebody very powerful their energy is a very powerful leo okay let's see what the astro deck here guys four of cups will of fortune ace of pentacles i mean <laughs> um this offer has nothing that you should fear if anything you should be excited about it yeah, this person is a boss. Aries, the radical. I'm seeing King of Wands here. Yeah, this person is not afraid. This person is going to court you, pursue you. Not aggressively, but they they know the art of courtship, okay? Reminds me of a reading I did with the signs. I don't remember who had that reading. Scorpio, oof. You have caught this, person this person's attention. There's definitely sexual chemistry here. Oof. They got, a lot, they got their eye on you, straight up. Look at that. 
you're on their mind all the time. Jesus. Very hot and sexy. The innovator, Aquarius. Yeah, this person is very out of the norm. This person is somebody that stands out. You're going to be, it's something about their eye or their eyes or the way they dress. They're deep. They're just, their energy is so tense but sexy because they're mysterious. Okay, they're very mysterious, Leo. Let's see what else spirit for Leo. Oh my God, one enchanted evening, the perfect night. This person is gonna set up some kind of date for you guys. It's gonna be out of this freaking world. They're courting you, hardcore. Hardcore courting. I told you this person is full of money, resources. This person is abundant. Prosperity, a prosperous business with riches and success. That's what they have. Okay. So that's your reading, Leo. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and check out my Etsy. Everything is below. See you later. Bye, Leo. Hello, Sag. Hi, Sag. This is your February check-in. Real quick, we're going to check in to see the energy. So we are prepared. Right? Self-love. So that's pretty self-explanatory, right? Self-love. Take care of your body, your vessel. Funny here, it says, cleanse, purify, and protect the physical body. In the bottom of the magical, uh, making magic when I was doing real um, that was the bottom of the card. So yeah, definitely you need some kind of routine, guys. You've been neglect neglecting your health, but I feel like mostly your body, you're not sleeping enough, you're not eating um, healthy, or at, you know, times that are reasonable, let's say. So you need some rest here. You need some rest and rejuvenation, Sag. You're working out your, out yourself out too much, okay? Assessing. Yeah, it's time to stop, reflect, and take care of your body. Cocooning here. It's time to... Um, retreat and think there's some stuff that will come to you like because if you feel like you're not thinking straight right now you just still can't seem to think at work or something or um, your mind just tends to drift away strangely it's because you need some rest and rejuvenation there's some messages that want to come in to see you here come in to see you come through to you because there's a new beginning that is imminent here and you might get an invitation to something because the garden for me is always an invitation but it's a new moon new beginnings there's a rebirth that needs to happen here. Not literally a big rebirth, but when I say rebirth, it's like you rebirthing, like you purifying your energy and like uh, resting. So then you can be more harmonious, more clear level headed, right? So you can think straight. You need a pause, Sag. Your body's asking for it. You might already have felt symptoms for a while now, but that's your body telling you to slow down, okay? See, I knew it. Look at this. Meerkat, responsibility. Yeah, you need to slow down. You need to let go a little bit. What are these responsibilities that you have? Right? That are so like heavy and like set that you feel like you can't take a break for yourself. Are you, that's, not, that's not what responsibility is. Authenticity. Yeah, you don't even know who you are anymore. Like I said, you can't think straight. You have wolf moon here. I mean, wolf moon. You have wolf, sorry. It's authenticity. You're, you're kind of like all over. You are not connected to mind, body, and soul. You're off balance. You, there's need for harmony here. That's why you need to rest, okay? Don't take any decisions until you do. Because there you, you might take hasty decisions and regret it later. Yeah, some of you, you know, there's, an, there's something that's offered to you, an opportunity. Um, before you get into that, you want to get into that with clear energy with like, you know, mm 
with a sense of knowing. Not all over the place. You need some harmony. You know, you need to be harmonious. You need to be in your normal state, kind of, to be able to make that decision. Eight of Wands. Yeah, some of you have to travel or something. I felt that. And then you have the Princess of Cups, which is the page, the page of Cups. So, yeah, some of you are starting something, a new endeavor, something like that. Maybe some of you are exposing your your work somewhere else. You know, some of you are artists, writers, no, mostly artists, whatever that means. Or you're doing a conference. But it's a new project you're working on. And you're supposed to uh, go somewhere to for that. Or some of you, you've been invited somewhere, like I said, a party, because that gives me a party. Yeah, you need to revitalize. You need to revitalize. Rest and rejuvenate. Rejuvenation. That's what you need right now. You're low energy. You have really low energy. Somebody invited you somewhere, but you have really low energy right now. And I feel like you should go to this invitation, but you're not yourself right now. So you really need to rest and rejuvenate. Or you're thinking all these things like, oh my God, I'm invited here, but they're not from my, you know, social group. I don't know. I don't know. You're assessing it. Spirit's like, just be authentic. Maybe you have a job interview. Just be yourself. Just be yourself. But how do you feel though? Do you feel like yourself? Do you feel like, you know, do you, when you go to sleep, do you sleep or do you have anxiety? Are you always like thinking stuff in your head? Are you eating right? Like do, when you look at yourself right now, how, how would you say you are? Are you okay? Like, are you your usual self, basically? Let's get into the astrology cards and get some more information for Saj. There's a need to uh, rejuvenate here, to recharge. Okay, recharge before. Wisdom Saturn. You need to recharge. You need um, to be realistic, really. And then all those responsibilities, because Saturn is responsibilities, and we did have it here with the meerkat. You know, it's like, again, what... Oh, I lost my nail. Great. What are these responsibilities, guys? I would like to know. I definitely would like to know. This was the other card. Empowerment. Authenticity. Some of you are dimming your light somewhere and you're just not fighting. You're not just, you're just not showing up as you truly are in your authenticity. You're just letting the situation run you by because you're tired. You're tired. But is that in your best interest though, Saj? Is it? Okay, let's get to making magics. For Saj, please hear it. Spirit, heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. They said, take a rest. <laughs> yeah, what is that, spirit? It's like meditation. It's connecting with spirit. It's relaxing, meditating. Like what I, like I said in the beginning, a routine. You guys need a routine. You have not only spirit that is here, heavenly assistance, but you have the fairies as well. You have respectfully work with the fairies and elements to achieve your goals. Again, like I said, you have, you need to connect right now. You've been like really neglecting a practice you've been doing. It's been so good for you, you know, and you're wondering why you're feeling some type of ways because you stopped that practice. Then you have air reminding me of the assessing card. It says work with the element of air to cut through the care, the core, sorry, of situations and see the truth. Yeah. You complete, your mind is nebulous right now because you're tired. You need some self-love. You can't assess right now. You can't think, think straight. There's a big event. There's something happening. It's either a big event, like really literally like an award or a conference you have to go to or something, or it's a big event in the spiritual world, meaning this is something serendipitously that the universe, the spirits, the fairies are bringing to you, a blessing that they're bringing, but you need to prepare for it. Okay, Saj? Love you guys. If you like the reading, give it a like and subscribe to the channel and go check out my Etsy and I'll see you next time. Bye. Taurus quick February preview 
Just going to check in the end of this so we're prepared here. All right. So, Taurus, hello. Let's see what we have for you here for Taurus Spirit. You have trust and power. Some of you are lacking self-confidence, okay? You're lacking self-confidence here. You're afraid to disappoint. You're afraid not to be up to par. You're afraid not to be suited, not to be the perfect right person for something or for someone. So let's see, what else? The, inex the unexpected. If you take a leap of faith, you'd be surprised what you find there on the other side. It's going to be something very beautiful. Courage pays, I heard. Courage pays, you know. The power of manifestation is trust and faith and authenticity. Groundness. Some of you are, yeah, you're anxious. You're anxious. You're, you're very anxious. You don't trust something. I heard, get yourself together. Wisdom. Why am I being feeling, look, why did Spirit say you're feeling a little bit immature here? Some of you are being really immature about something. Some of you know damn well that something is meant for you. Some of you are ignoring your intuition somehow. I don't know why, because you're scared. Don't be scared of your intuition, guys. Taurus. Because it's coming either way. I don't know what this is, but it's good. It's good stuff. We're going to see right now what it is, actually. Let's see if we could get some more. It's something good. Really, trust me. It's a seven. It's 43, which is a seven. Then you have seven here. You have seven, seven three times, guys. The pop. The power card, let's get the sevens here. Power card is seven. The unexpected is uh, 43, which is seven. And then you have seven, 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 seven. It's a lucky number. I told you, whatever it is, it's amazing. But you're doubting it. Why is that? And I feel like you manifested it too, which is funny. Just take a deep breath, okay? Success. You manifested success. You're scared, you're scared of success, Taurus. Silly you. Six of Pentacles. You're, you're silly you. Don't be silly. Like, that's what I say. You're being childish. Come on. Come on. You know wisdom. You know this. You manifested it. It's victory. It's success. Are you scared of success, Taurus? Don't uh, be silly now. Okay? Taurus. Get yourself together. Show up your best self. Get ready to receive this thing, okay? Get ready, be ready. Welcome this with enthusiasm, not fear. The lover, Leo. Shine. This is success too. It's the sun. You have success three times. Chariot, six of discos, six of pentacles, success. It's abundance, right? And then you have the Scorpio card, the animal, the raw primal you, your power, your authenticity, right? Who are you, Scorpio? I mean, Scorpio. Maybe you're a Scorpio. Not, you know, not, you're not a Scorpio because we're doing signs. But what is the Scorpio energy? Because that's opposite you. That's where the self-note is. You guys have dealt with like, um, or still are dealing with self-confidence issues for sure. You're afraid to show your, 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 your power. You're, you're afraid to show your worth. Why is that? Maybe as a child, you've been like always told to not do so. That you're too much, you're too excessive, right? There's some money coming to you. Status, stability, recognition. This is your legacy. And then you have flow. Go with the flow. Chill out, Scorpio. Why am I saying Scorpio? Chill out, Taurus. Are you dealing with a Scorpio? You could be dealing with Scorpio, Leo, or Capricorn. If you're dealing with anybody, I don't know. But whatever this is, there's something that's coming towards you that you manifested, and it's amazing. And it's about success. So that's why I'm saying it's mostly work, I feel, because you have Capricorn and you have the, you know, the energy that I'm feeling. It's really giving me work. But who knows? But whatever it is, it's something amazing. Remember, we had those three sevens. And you're getting in the way. 
of it. Just saying, stop being childish and pull, your, pull yourself together. Labyrinth. Transition to a higher level of being, raising your energetic vibration and alignment. Yeah. Grow up kind of energy, manifesting money and income. See that? Success. There's money here. You just feel like you're not going to be up to par for something. I don't know what it is. You're, you're not the right one. Yes, you are. Then you have spirit. Heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. Ask your angels to help you. They are actually here already, I feel, around you. And I feel like they're the ones saying, grow up, stop being childish. Like, come on, we've worked so hard for this, right? Something you manifest. I, I feel like you know it's coming. That's why you're scared. You're like, oh my God, I know. I feel this thing. I feel this thing, you know. You feel it. You feel something. Your intuition is like on right now you feel something but you don't know what and it's driving you crazy not driving you crazy but it's you know damn well what it is too but you're so scared it's for you you're not supposed to be scared of something that's for you okay Scorp uh, Taurus why do I want to say Scorpio in your reading it's crazy what is that really weird okay Thank you, Taurus. Take care, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out my Etsy, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Welcome to your February preview. Let's check and see the energy, what's, you know, happening here so we could get prepared. Okay, Gemini, please, Spirit. Gemini is in full-blown creation. Gemini is working on something. Creation. You're working on something. You're planning. I'm seeing a launch or something. Acceptance. Accept help from others, though. You don't have to do all this alone. I feel like you're being really stubborn. Okay, yeah, stubborn, patience and fear. You're being very stubborn and you're putting your 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 anxiety onto other people and you're refusing help. You're gonna work yourself thin, and then what good is that gonna do? Accept this help, accept this this assistance here. All right from whomever, there's somebody who wants to help you. You're, you're working on something, a creation, and somebody wants to help you, and you're just like, no. So you're stubborn. You're actually speaking really badly to this person, and they don't deserve it. You're very impatient with this person, but it's, because you're, you're afraid, but you shouldn't be like transferring your fear onto others. That's not cool, Gemini, okay? All right, let's get some more. Protection. Lioness. Yeah, you're protecting this creation like it's your life depends on it. And you're refusing help. Songlines. Songlines is about ancestors. So protection. Your ancestors are sending you this person here to help you. Are you refuting help and refusing help from your ancestors, Gemini? Okay. I think we're done here. Are you refusing help from your from your ancestors? I feel like that's what you're doing. Trust me, these people that are coming, if somebody just out of the blue comes and it's like really random and it's like really, sh you, it's just like no way. The coincidence is so huge. Know that it, there is no coincidence. This person is sent to you by your ancestors to help you. Now you do whatever you want, obviously. So let's see. Yeah, they're supposed to help you. Six of pentacles. They are part of this. They are part of this, whether you want it or not. Knight of Wands. It is written, whatever this is. Knight of Wands. Some of you are working on a project with a lot of people and you're just like so stubborn about it. Or you are the project manager and others want to help you and you're just like so... 
cold. Knight of, Knight of Wands, yeah, your patience and Knight of Wands, you're losing your patience, you don't want help. Six of Pentacles is reciprocity. Prince of this, somebody's offering help, you're like, nope. So, you know, Six of Pentacles, reciprocity, acceptance, Prince of Disc, Prince of uh, Pentacles, somebody giving you something. Somebody wants to invest in you, in your project, your creation. Somebody wants to help, whatever help that is. But out of fear, you are acting crazy. Nine of Swords. Accept help from others. Especially, it's faded. They're supposed to help you. They're here to assist you. Instead of taking it as something else, take it as something like a divine help, you know, like, like Santa's helpers or something, you know? Like it, you should look at it as relief, rather. See, somebody is willing to help you, is very dedicated, is giving you that Six of Pentacles here. Somebody is very uh, uh, loyal, okay? Somebody is very loyal. Um, they're so, they have solidarity. Okay, and this person is part of the success because there's there they have something you lack for this creation. Could it be that they're more um, methodical methodical than you? Could it be that they're more subtle because you tend to? I feel like you're lashing out a lot lately. This person is going to temper you. That's why they're coming into your life. Okay, to help you. This is about work, guys. I don't feel like it's love. Yeah, perception. This is your card here, Gemini. So it's collaboration. Again, you got two threes. Sorry, not two threes. You got six of pentacles, sorry, and a three here, which is all about collaboration. It's giving me three of pentacles energy. Um, it's also giving me three of cups. So either it's work, you know, you guys need to work together and you guys need, to, you're going to, you're going to, then you can celebrate the success together. That's what I say. You're doing some kind of research. Whatever you're working on involves research discussions and stuff and sociability, which you don't have right now. Cause I feel like you're very intense right now. You're short tempered. You know, maybe this person deals with social media. So whatever you're creating, you need this person to launch this on social media to help you with the, the advertising and the, maybe branding. You know you need this person's help, but you're refusing stubbornly. It's too many cards. Okay. You have outlook. This person has a better outlook. This person has a better, they're less um, tunnel vision than you are right now because you are definitely a tunnel vision right now because out of fear though, what are you so scared of? This person has a broader view. They're more diplomatic than you right now. You need this person. This person is kind of like acting as your clarity right now because you are definitely fogged by fear, driven by fear and it's making you lose focus and making you um, deny yourself the assistance you need healing the time to heal true healing sorry of the mind body and soul yeah definitely you're in balance right now and then you have the star the silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity. I'm telling you, this person is coming out of nowhere. No, they're not coming out of nowhere. It's your ancestors, your angels that sent them to you for a reason. Okay. What you need to ask yourself is, is this person of any help to you right now? Do they add something to whatever you're trying to create? If that's a yes, and I really think it's a yes, why aren't you ex accepting? Labyrinth. Transition to a high level of being, raising your energetic vibration, enlightenment. This is letting go of that fear. This is pulling yourself together, okay? Transitioning to a higher level of being. I feel like you're really acting out of character right now, okay, Gemini? That's your reading. Take care. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Like the video and go check out my Etsy. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Cancer, welcome to your February overview. Hi, Cancer. Let's see what we need to know. Action. 
and wisdom. Move wisely. No precipitation, no haste, calculation, and, and discernment. Use your intuition, your superpower. You're, you're making a move. You're making a move on something. You're finally deciding to go for something, to start something. Whatever that something is. Okay, let's get one more. You're making a decision, a wise decision, a good decision, the best decision I'm hearing. But 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 don't move hastily, okay? Don't move too fast. Yeah, you're on a path to something here. I'm telling you, and it's gonna be a blossoming path because you're being called there. It's almost like you're being prompted. It's like, I'm hearing the time is now. It's time. See how she's doing the violin? It's like somebody's calling you. It's like energetically something, someone is calling you. And you feel it. It's almost like the alarm has rang. I don't know what that means. But you're on your way to your path to blossoming abundance, to you blossoming, you being seen, you being a different person. You really tapping into some power, superpowers that you probably have forgotten or never knew you had. Some kind of creativity. There's drive in your reading. I love it. You're reaching for something. You're deciding to give yourself permission or to not no longer be restricted. Wisdom twice, guys. Yeah, you're ready. Something about your intuition, guys. Some of you have been like really doing a lot of like shadow work. You've been hermiting. Now you're ready to get out. To go out, beaver, you're ready to get busy, to work, you're putting your hands on in different things, change, blossoming change, yes, you're shifting, you're shape-shifting, the chameleon, some of you are getting out of the cocoon, some of you are ready to start that business, some of you have decided to go for it, something you've been working on that you maybe abandoned on the way, you stopped, or something that you were not doing to its full potential, you're definitely putting the energy into it. You're injecting this energy. It's like a new uh, um, will. Like you have will now. That Leo energy, hunger, you know, to do it, to go for it. And nothing's going to stop you, I heard. Nothing can stop you. You're all the way up. You ain't up yet, but nothing can stop you right now. And you're going up. You will eventually be up. Okay? But you're in the initial phase now. Seven of Swords. You're letting go of anything that's holding you back. Ten of Wands, oppression. Yep, Seven of Swords and Ten of Wands. See, you were boggled down, held back by, some, by something or an energy or a lesson, a tough lesson you had to learn. And now you've learned the lesson. It's brought you so much wisdom and you're moving differently now. You're moving differently. Seven of Cups. You're no longer confused. Okay? You're no longer confused. You're no longer oppressed. You're no, there's no time to waste, I heard. No time to waste. No time to waste for cancer. Knight of Cups, going after your heart's desires. No time to waste. Going after, going after your heart's desires. You have decided this year, maybe some of you cancer, that this is your year. You're going after what you love and you're leaving behind all kinds of futility, oppressions, negative energy. Cancer doesn't have time. Cancer has shifted. Cancer has transformed. Cancer has like called back their power. Or woken, awoken their power. You know, I feel like your power is awakening. That's what I mean. Let's get into, ooh, let's get into some astrological cards here and see what else. Yes, Cancer is like on, I'm full mode. Like, where's my Ten of Cups, guys? 
Yes. We're about work. We're about our goals here. We're, we're going after our heart's desires. We are understanding what makes us happy. You're doing something you really love. You're understanding that you can, yes, indeed, make money off of it. Some people maybe might have told you no. But you're definitely like, I love doing this. And I know, I believe, I have faith that this is my calling. This is what I'm supposed to do. And it will, I will make it my living. Jupiter is here. Definitely. And you will succeed. Like I said, you will be up. Your dreams. Uh-huh. This is what I meant to do. Knight of Cups. Going after your dreams. Yes. Definitely. You are on your way to success, guys. That dream you had, it's about to become reality. But you got to put in the work, Cancer. Okay. Let's see what else for Cancer. The elements. The elements of fire, air, and water combine to create powerful, protective boundaries. Spiritual, mental, physical, and emotion. See the four? This is stability, guys. You've called back all your power. You're ready. You're the magician. There you go. You're the magician right now. You have shifted into the magician energy, this change here, and this blossoming. You have blossomed into the magician, Cancer. The festival creates an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party or event. You're coming out. For me, the festival, the party, it's like coming out, right? Oh my God, goddess, healing feminine energy. Told you, you are in your goddess power right now. Look at that. Triple moon. Embracing all aspects of yourself. The divine and the earthly. Cancer is the magician. Point blank period. Thank you, Cancer. Guys, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Go check out my Etsy. And I'll see you next time. Bye, Cancer. Hello, um, Leo. Oh my God, Leo twice. No, Virgo. Hello, Virgo. So I'm missing a sign here. Okay, well, let's do Virgo. Virgo, hi. So you have discernment, pay attention, unexpected. I feel like somebody's going to come and offer you something. Is it a poisoned gift? I heard. Something's coming that's going to, something is coming, being offered to you by the universe or someone. It is highly, highly unexpected. Then you have creation. Is it in your best interest? Is it going to, listen to your intuition, faith. Is it in your best interest? Does this person believe in you? Whatever they're offering to you, is it genuine? Is it genuine? If you feel like somebody might invest in your project, is it genuine? Do they really care about what you do? Do they really care about the project? Or is it just an investment or something else is behind it? There is an expected, unexpected. Phone call. Message. Visit. I heard. Your discernment is very important here. Somebody might want to collaborate with you, but are they truthful? Are they truthful? Spirit, what else for Kim Virgo? Are they truthful? Authenticity. Exactly. See that wolf? That wolf is looking very discerning. Like, who are you? What are you doing on my ter territory, guys? What's up, dude? What you doing in my territory? What you want? Now let me look at your soul, <laughs> right? Discernment. Let me feel your energy. Wait, let me tune in and see what's, what you're about. Let me feel your energy. See that? Be alert. I guess your reading is telling to be really alert here. Okay, Virgo. It's 
snake liberation. It says liberation, but snakes are, you know, snakes. That's funny. I'm looking at a, a series on Netflix. It's a Turkish series. It's called what? Shamara, Shamaran something. It's about snakes, the spirit of the snake. I lost a nail, guys. I'm sorry. So, yeah, be careful. Is this person really who they say they are? Or are they creating a whole scenario to lure you in? Your ancestors are protecting you, though. Pay attention to serendipitous of, as signs here. They have a message, okay, for you concerning this here. It's also getting me to do research on this person. You need to know their past, where they come from. Research is necessary to know who they truly are, whether they're good or bad. That You need to know more about this person. Five of Swords, Defeat. So is this person here to create a story because they have an agenda? Huh? Right? Two of Cups, Love. Is it an ex? Is it an ex? That wants to reconcile. That wants a new beginning. I feel like it is. Oh, you're the first one that has a love message. Guys, ow, I just hurt myself with my ring. Guys, somebody, your ex, an ex, is coming back and wants to create a no, whole new life with you. You're not waiting for this. Like, okay, this person, I don't know what happened to them, but... um. I feel like they're coming back because they lost everything. You, okay? So now they want to reconcile. Now they want your energy. They want a new beginning with you. It doesn't smell good though. Let me tell you guys. The, the sentiment with which, 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 the energy with which they come is not an energy where you can trust someone or build anything or even, even like in, envision like um not envision consider to sit down and have an honest conversation whether you're going back together or men me mending or whatever that this is not it this person's energy the reason why they're coming is not the it's not it's not good it's it's, it's the energy like you're the only one i have now i need you the butterfly gemini see they're contacting you i told you they're connecting metaphor this person lost their wings they're coming to you because they want their wings back and they feel like you're the only one that can give it to them whatever that means okay yeah they need they're coming to get your energy they want your power not your power they want your energy because they know they're not stupid they know damn well what energy you carry and who you are why did they leave though in the first place that's my question but anyway who cares they are coming to recharge their energy with you. That is not a noble sentiment. The animal, sexually. Guys, watch out if an ex comes and they want to get all like freaky dicky. They're trying to steal your energy. They're an energy vampire, basically. Okay. All right. Watch out for this one here. Okay. What else, spirit? On the brighter side. Air. Yeah, use your discernment. Air. Work with the element of air to cut through the core of a situation and see the truth. Told you. I told you guys. Virgo. You're ruled by Mercury, so tap into that Mercury energy. Triple moon. Embrace, embracing all aspects of yourself, the divine and the earthly. Yeah, you're, you're, you're Mercury. Embrace that Mercury energy. Mercury is direct in Capricorn too. All right, which is your fifth house. Don't let your heart take over your emotions. Use your mind, your weapon. We all have weapons, each sign, you know. Yours is your mind, so use that. You have little luxuries. Come, generates luxurious experience and surroundings. They might come up with the whole shenanigans, creating this scenario, like I told you. Creating this beautiful picture is to lure you in. It's to lure you in. Don't. Don't sleep. Okay, Virgo. 
Love you guys. Like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Go check out my Etsy. And I'll see you next time. Bye, Virgo. Okay, hi Libra. Welcome to your February preview. Let's see what's coming for you so we can get prepared. Libra Spirit. Create a uh, gratitude, sorry. And the void. Stop and be grateful. Some of you are feeling and so you're unsatisfied. You're unsatisfied. You need to take the time, stop and be grateful for whatever you already have already. Well, some of you, this is crippling. You're dissatisfied. Nothing is exciting. You just don't want to do anything. It's kind of depression too. It's like, why bother? You don't have the willpower. You don't have it. You don't have the courage. You don't have the drive. You know, you are on the floor. You're on the floor. You don't know what to do. And it keeps just playing in your mind this thing of like, I'm never going to get there. Anyway, this always happens. You know, you're, you're in the dark. You're seeing the dark side. You're not seeing positive at all. You're very, you have very negative thoughts right now. Uh, Libra. Okay. Okay. Snake, liberation. You need to get out your, those thoughts out of your head. You're really in the dark right now. This is a dark moon. You're really uh, in a... You don't want to stay in that energy, Libra. It's just going to start creeping more and more. You're going to get even more and more tired and more and more um, blasé and more and more just like stagnant. Get those thoughts out of your mind, Libra, and be grateful for what you have already. You're really, um, you're really in the dark. You're like in that nine of swords energy or eight of swords, you know, it's all in your head. Are you playing that victim mentality too? Observation, uh, pilgrim falcon. Look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture. You need to get out of this thing here because it's keeping you from really looking at the bigger picture. And it's draining you. Whatever the snake is, the snake energy. Are you so focused? But there's something bigger to it, you know? Or maybe it's not even what you think. You're really making stuff up in your story. I mean, in your stories in your head, I want to say right now. There's a little bit of paranoia. Anxiety, paranoia. Um, Monkey mind, monkey mind, heavy, heavy monkey mind for Libra. Be grateful for life with its trials and its tribulations. It's the law of the universe. There's nothing you can do about it except surrender to it and move accordingly. Three of pentacles. Focus on work. Maybe this is about work. Two of this, maybe this is a bad work. Maybe you do need to change your job. If your job is making you feel this way, maybe it's time to change jobs. You literally have work and change. Maybe this is what's like really like you need to liberate yourself from. The fool, yes, you need, you need a new beginning. There's something you need to let go of, Libra. It's done. It's no good for you. Um, it's really affecting you, starting to affect you physically, mentally. You need to let it go. It needs to change. You need to have the willpower to change it. You already feel it. Now it's time to accept that this is not good for you. And be grateful that you got to experience it. And move on. This could be a person too, guys. I don't know. A relationship. Okay. Yeah, it's time to move away. The chariot. 
you it's kind of eight of cups energy i'm feeling here especially after with the chair you need to go to move you already learned whatever you have to learn here with the situation now it's time to go on you know, another cycle okay and start something new and win that challenge because i feel like here you already done it some of you you won this challenge but you're still dwelling in it whatever this challenge is what i'm thinking some of you it's a yeah, it could be an ex, ugh, a relationship, whatever, and you discovered they were cheating, you kicked them out. But now there's a residual sentiment, the residual, you know, attachment that's here. There's something you need to let go of, Libra, okay? It could be a thought, it could be a person. But Spirit is asking you to move on, to have the willpower to move on. There's something, you know, and to create something else, to create something new for yourself. And to stop dwelling in this energy here that is just holding you back. It's weighing you down. What else, Spirit? Yeah, take control of your life. Take control of your life. Aries, the fool is Aries too. The radical. Go after your passions, your dreams. Create the reality you want. Get out of the one you were in before. It's already done. Move forward. Look forward to new beginnings. Look forward to new... Things. What is it you want to create for yourself? What is this new energy you're feeling that is underlining whatever this is, this attachment, this, this reticence, this like stubbornness to let go of an energy, a thought, a memory, okay? And, and you have so much better to do. Activate, you know, action. It's action time. Be assertive. Be fierce. Go after what you want. Go after your passions, your pleasures. Go party, go out. Laugh. You really need to shift your energy, uh, Libra. Mercury, yeah, you need to mingle. That's giving me that three of cups energy. You know, parties. You need to mingle, guys. There you go. That's you. Card came out. Relating. You need to go mingle. You're all about the mingle. Relating. You need to go mingle, basically. Okay, Libra. Let's get into the making magic. For Libra. Oops. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. All right. Libra spirit. Abracadabra with wings. Fantastic good fortunes and lucky chances. That's where you're going to meet these lucky chances. You need to go out. I feel like you've been stuck in just ruminating on something. You have to have the... It's all about energy. It's time to go after something. There's something out there for you, but you're not going to get it until, unless you go out. Spirit is urging you to go out. There's, blessing, there's a blessing waiting for you. It's almost like you need to get in that vibration to receive it, though. The vibration of gratitude, the vibration of um, faith, and the vibration of... Uh, just knowing that what you want is already yours anyway. Philosopher's Stone. Powerful manifestation of wishes and goals by harnessing universal energy. Yes. It's, it's about manifestation here. What do you want to manifest, Libra? You're wasting your manifestation powers by staying stuck in the past. Okay. Yes. Healing. True healing of the mind, body, and soul. You are keeping yourself stuck in there. You've healed. Like I said, some of you, you won the battle already. And you know it. But you're still, there's this residual attachment, right? That you think that you need to heal, heal more. But you're already healed. You are you're the only one keeping yourself in this situation. There's success waiting for you here. There's a beautiful new beginning. And it's like, like I guess, you know, fantastic, good fortune and lucky chances. You are so lucky right now, but you need to go get your abundance. You need to manifest it. To manifest it, you need to be in the energy of it. Okay? All right. Love you, Libra. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out my Etsy. Everything is below in the description box. I will see you guys next time. Bye.
Hi, Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio. We're going to check into your energy here for February. It's a February preview. So we can get prepared. Okay, let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. Self-reflection. Sovereignty. Where are you doing your light? Some of you are maybe are working on your self-image. Maybe some of you are deciding finally to be like, I'm worthy, I'm sovereign, I'm authentic. You're calling back your power, some of you. Sorry, some of you are doing mirror magic. Okay, you're calling back your powers. Or some of you are definitely not seeing yourself as powerful as you truly are. And that's what spirit wants you to see. You are sovereign, you are powerful. Wisdom. You are wise, you're intelligent. You're an old soul. You're an old soul. Do you know that, Scorpio? Most Scorpios do. <laughs> I feel like Scorpio's about to shock people with something. It has to do with their appearance. Cycles, yeah. Look at her. Did you see this woman? How beautiful she is. You're about to you're about to like really shock some some people here with your abundance she's surrounded by rabbits and this is happening right now scorpio it's already in motion we are in the year of the rabbit chinese astrology okay rabbit foot grab and rabbits are abundance and look at her her hair she's giving me empress vibes right you're about to shock people with your abundance strategy Ooh, oh wow and also your reading i remember was about exposing a false empress so that could be still coming here, right? But if not, you are really about to shock people with something here. And it has to do with your appearance. Again, your sovereignty. It has to do with your sovereignty. I'm hearing no more. Enough is enough. Let me show you who I really am. Because all this time, I've been like really dimming my light. I've been like, you know, not wanting to come out and be forceful, observing. But I think it's high time you know who the hell I am. I heard. Okay. Forceful, powerful. Work. Three of disc. Six of swords. Moving away. Some of you are leaving a job or starting a new job. Where people don't even know who the hell you are. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Some of you are starting a new job and people are talking, they're gossiping about you. Oh boy. They're going to be shocked when they see you in person, who you truly are. Because they're making all these ideas in their head. See, they're spying. Prince of Swords on you. Some of you, some people, it could be not even at work. It could be generally in your life. Some people are, spot, are spying on you. They're seeing your evolution. And they're people that already had put you in a certain box. Meanwhile, you were just keeping yourself small because you didn't want to, like, scare anybody. <laughs> or you were too busy observing them because that's your forte. You love doing that. Because you don't need to prove shit to no one. But I think like you're saying, it's, time, it's about time I show you guys who the hell I am. Look at that. Aries. Radical. It's about time I show you who I truly am, guys. That's what I'm hearing. Loudly. All right, Spirit. What else for Scorpio? Yeah, I'm going to show you guys who I am. Aquarius. And my force, my power. It's about community. You're coming out in the community, whatever it is. It's a rebellion. Definitely. You're rebelling. You are rebelling. Mercury Communications reminding me of that page of swords here. They're, they're, they're watching you. They're curious. They're analyzing you. But the problem is they're making up all these stories though, which is definitely so far from the truth. So far from the truth. Maybe that's why you need to come out. Venus love, Taurus again. She's giving me that cycle energy with that hair. Remember the, 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 the rabbits and everything? Taurus is ruled by Venus. Libra is ruled by Venus. See? Again, people around you, your relationships. You're coming out as the goddess in your full sovereignty, Scorpio. See that? Definitely. Let's see. What else for Scorpio? I 
I'm seeing a scene where, you know, somebody had, like in the movies where somebody is like so damning their life. They're wearing like really like subdued clothes, very like monotone clothes, monarch color, not trying to, you know, attract attention, pay, you know, to, to call attention. And then this one day you had enough and people are gossiping and getting on their nerves. They're like, okay, whatever. In the high school, you know, like in high school. Yeah. The one that was always like, yeah, yeah. And then suddenly she just like vamps up and comes in and the move, the, the music is like slowed down and she's like, da, 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 da. She's walking and they start from the legs, the feet, and they come up and then the hair and she just like whips her hair. That's what I'm seeing. That's crazy. I watch too many movies, but that is exactly what I'm seeing for you right now. Oh, mystic star told you. Our harmony in the home and great friendships, you're going to attract. People are going to shut up. People are going to be so drawn to you. They're going to be curious. I'm telling you, people are going to start spying on you. You are suddenly becoming the attraction here. The festival. This is a party. Create an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party or event. Are you coming out in the party looking like, damn, Scorpio? Okay. You are revealing yourself. Your true self. Okay, love you Scorpio, Scorpio, sorry, give it a like if you liked it and subscribe and also check out my Etsy, everything is below in the description box, I'll see you next time, bye. Hi Capricorn, how are you guys doing? All right. You have a will and gratitude. What's one more? Yeah, some of you also, again, same as another reading just now, another sign. You guys are playing victim mentality here. You're dimming your light. You're you're dimming your light beauty you're not acknowledging your true beauty you are treating yourself really bad right now you're talking down on yourself you look at yourself i'm to this i'm to that don't do that guys you're just manifesting more of that darkness that's all you're doing when you manifest gratitude you manifest more abundance to you guys you're manifesting something you don't want so please be careful with your words and how you talk to yourself, very, very important here, okay? You need to ground your, yourself here. Yes, you need to understand how beautiful you are. This is cycles, but see, year of the rabbit, abundance. But you see this, this picture? She looks like the empress, doesn't she? beauty and then here what did we have guys what are you talking what are you telling yourselves it's not good for you you without, you don't know it but i'm telling you you're manifesting more of that it's not good you need to be happy gratitude happiness joy love uh you know showing up as you are like kids do High vibe. They're playing with dolphins. Jovial, happy. You don't understand your true beauty. You're so beautiful. Everybody sees it but you on top of it. But then when you start acting out of character, what does that do? You're not beautiful anymore. You're just weird. Right? Or something's wrong with you. People find you amazing, attractive. People are... You have so many loving people around you. And they see you and they don't understand. They're confused. To them, you're just so beautiful. You're like everything. You're just like, whoa. You're like this. But you don't see yourself like that. You're like this. But you don't see yourself like that, do you? So it's, dis it's, it's, it's disturbing for them. Three of Cups, yeah, your friends. They see you, your love, your abundance, your beauty. People love you so much. Do you know this, Capricorn? And you're over there in the corner beating yourself up. 
Ten of discs, wealth, abundance, love, joy, happiness. All this stuff, you are blocking it. You are manifesting something. You are blocking it, okay? You're, you're blocking your manifestations. There you go. You are blocking your own manifestations by talking down to yourself, by not having faith and gratitude, and by being scared that it's just not believing, you know? Letting fear take over. You are blocking your blessings. All right. C square challenge. Your blessings can't come in. The opportunity of having abundance and wealth, you're blocking it. You need to co-create with the uh, the universe. So you need to be in that vibration of what you're calling in order to receive it, to call it to you. But if you're in a vibration of darkness where you're talking down on yourself, you're not having faith, that's what you're, you're not going to get it. You have to be in synergy and harmony. Okay. With body, mind, and soul. Ninth house, voyager. Sorry, seeking, which is sad. This talks about travel, higher education, faith and beliefs, you know? It's about beliefs and faith. Maybe you grew up in somewhere where they told you you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't be, or you're so this and you're so that. I feel like it's a programming that you receive that it's very hard to get rid of. Do you know how beautiful you are? The star. This is the numinous. It's the North Star. It's ESP, psychic abilities, the cosmos, universe, truth, oneness, the unnameable. It's about inner knowing. You're like a mystery to people. And people, look, the bombshell. Told you, you're like, you have bombshell, beauty, the hair. I mean, what else do you want? People, this is how they see you. Meanwhile, you don't see yourself like that. Do you understand how confusing that can be, Capricorn? That could be really confusing to people. And then it creates this chain reaction where everything just doesn't flow anymore. It's a rig. It rigs it, you know? It rigs it. Insight. Open the third eye to strength intuition. Successful career, abundance, <laughs> you know, abundance. What is this? And wealth, a happy working environment, pay raises and promotions. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else is going to believe in you. Power symbol, cleanse, purify, and protect the physical body. Told you. There you go. All right, Capricorn, love you guys. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Go check out my Etsy. Everything is in the description box below. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your February check-in. Let's see what is coming up for you. What is the energies we need to be aware of here for Pisces? Nourishment. Mm. Are you taking care of yourself, Pisces? And gratitude. A lot of people got gratitude. Guys, you need to really be... <laughs> honor your body. You are out of balance right now. You're out of balance. You need to nourish yourself. You need a routine. You need to get back on track here. You need to be grateful for your vessel. You are treating your body really, really not good right now. And it's like throwing you off balance. Are you overindulging? You have the pleasure card reversed. Some of you are overindulging and you know it. I don't have to tell you. Okay. What else, please, for Pisces? Is Neptune playing tricks on you over there? Escapism. A lot of escapism I feel here for some of you. Fierceness, fierce, I never can say this. Fierceness, fierceness, Wolverine. Something is depleting you. It's not making you see clear here. Cycles. This card also came for a lot of people. 
It's depleting you. See how this lady, woman, whatever, she looks super healthy. Look at her hair. It's giving me Empress vibes. Very abundant. And the rabbit's here. We're in the year of the rabbit. It's depleting you. It's affecting you physically. Not only your body, but also your performance. Okay? It's robbing you of your happiness. It's not making you see clear. It's creating just anxiety and tension. And just like, it's really like throwing you off balance, basically. You're not your usual self right now. Let's put it that way. So you need to really take care of yourself right now, um, Pisces, okay? Maybe take a break, nurture yourself. Set up some kind of routine or something. Prince, Prince of Wands, yeah, you're definitely depleted. You don't have energy. A cycle has to change here. Empress and the and the, um, the universe, the whew, the world, basically. You see that? You have changed. You need to re-energize so you can come back to self here. You're really not yourself right now. Remember, I told you this reminded me of the Empress. This is you, really abundant, flourishing, full of life, the life of the party, happy bringing that good energy or maybe you're around people that deplete you that could be it too maybe you need to step away for a minute here Pisces okay ascendant and the boss ascendant is outlook right the people the way people see you um your, your self-expression your attitude your aura you need to do some aura cleansing for sure. See the outer self. The outlook is the outer self. You're really looking. It's showing. Something is going on internally that is showing externally. You used to be very in control of things. You're losing control on something because of something. Something you're doing that you know is not good for you. Or it's escapism, like I said. Connect, you know, north node. Um, is in Taurus again, Taurus, the Empress. Take care of your body, guys. You need to set up a routine here. You've been neglecting your health and your appearance, and it's starting to show. It's not a good look, basically. Nothing is lost, you can still fix it. Okay, all right, Pisces, like the video. Um, also, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye. So, now I think I there's one sign I lost. So, Aries, Leo, Sag. Gemini, Cancer, okay, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, ah, Aquarius, hi, Aquarius, this is your February preview, let's see what the energy has for us so we can be prepared. Okay. Surrender and blossoming. You need to let something flow naturally. Stop forcing it. The masculine yang energy. Something is coming here and you're, you're forcing it or you're keeping it from happening. Something is happening. Something has to happen naturally and you're, you're in the way. Okay, Aquarius, you're in the way of it. Something wants to grow and you're, 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 you're in the way of it because you're not surrendering. You're meddling with it. You're interfering with something here that wants to grow. Fierceness, you're putting too much force into it. Wolverine, these are very fiery cards. Wolverine and the masculine, yang energy. You're putting too much force into something. You're not letting it evolve as it should naturally. What was that accent? Naturally. <laughs> Let it happen naturally, okay? Groundness. This gave me earth energy. You're too excited about it. It's 
So you just can't help but middle. But some things you're not supposed to know. Some things are mystery. Life is a mystery. Secrets. You're not meant to know everything. Let it happen naturally. Okay, Aquarius? Right? All right, Spirit, what else for Aquarius? Ace of Pentacles. It's yours already. It's coming. Let it happen naturally. It's already yours. There's nothing you, should, you need to do but to surrender. See? It's already yours. The sun. Surrender. Is it success you want? Is it a new job? There's an offer, a successful offer coming towards you. Something that's going to put you in the spotlight. Something that's going to make you so happy. Something you've been expecting, I heard. Obviously, you've been expecting it if you're meddling with it. If you surrender, there is awareness, right? See, Princess of Cups. Something you've desired for a long time. I told you. One last card, Spirit. The Tower. Let it happen naturally. You're trying to force it. The Tower can reverse. Spirit's like, you know. Sometimes we just need to let go, surrender, and let spirit do its job. Okay, Aquarius? Stop going back and forth in your mind about it. You're meddling with it. Even energetically. Even if you're not doing something physically, energetic thing, energetically, you are meddling with it. Just by thinking about it, turning it around in your, in your brain. You're just putting energy into it. Bad or good, whatever. But it's still interfering with it. Okay? Let it go. The mystic. Pisces. It's a dream. Definitely a dream. Something you've dreamt of since your childhood. Hmm. But it's mystical. Mr. Pisces is the mystic and then you have secrets here. What do you think you're going to do? What kind of help can you bring the universe in bringing you your abundance or your wish or your dream come true? The only thing you can do is surrender. First of all, co-create. Yeah, by being ready. By aligning, you know, cleaning your body, your vessel. Being connected to the universe. Then you surrender. That's all you need to do. There's nothing more than everything else is up to the universe. And it's not of your domain. It's hidden. It's of another dimension. Okay? You have five, the passion card. Leo. Leo. Two times Leo here. You're about to get into the spotlight. Something about entertainment, creativity. There's also children here. I see a disco ball. You're about to be catapulted into the scene somehow. Onto the scene. You're going to travel a lot for this too. Sagittarius. You're going to go on a lot of adventures through this. You're going to be boundless. And you're going to learn so much too. Yes, you're going to be seen. People are going to be really attracted to you. People are going to follow you on network, on um, what you call it, on internet and stuff like that. You are blossoming. I mean, for God's sakes, it says here. You are blossoming. You are blossoming. All right. Making magic spirit for Aquarius. I almost forgot you guys. I wrote it down, but I didn't even understand what the hell was going on. I was like, wait, Leo twice? No. Okay. Talking about Leo. Funny, right? You have Leo twice here too. That's funny. Leo is very prominent in your energy. I don't know if it has something to do, but Leo, you know, is the child. So again, it's that, that a childhood dream, something you've dreamt of since a child. Some, maybe some of you, it involves working with children. Uh, maybe some of you, you are getting pregnant if you want to, okay? If you don't want to, you know, prepare, take your precautions. But there's the children, there's child energy here. Some of you, yeah, you wanted a child, you're getting funny, that you're getting pregnant. That minute, the minute you surrender, boom, you get pregnant. Because there's a card here, or did I dream it? I don't know. Anyway, there's a children, there's a child here, there's a child, or... It's success, it's, it's success and it's um, 
celebrity celebrity vibes you know fame there you go fame there's fame i'm seeing fame here some of you are singers some 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 of you are singers some kind of type of artist you do but that requires you to be in the spotlight insight open the third eye to strength intuition so is asking you to meditate with the surrender card you need to clear your mind and connect because the secrets you're seeking whatever it is here with the secrets there was another card that talked about secrets what was it? Oh, the mystic. Whatever you're trying to find anyway in the 3D, it's already done. Your part is done. Everything is happening in the ethers. Now, if you're stubborn and you're curious and you want to know what the hell is going on, do the work and connect to the spirit world. How do you do that? By meditating and surrendering. Because here he does look like he's speaking to spirits here. He's connected. He's like astral traveling or something. Right? Spirit somehow is asking you to meditate to connect, to clear your mind, to clear your mind, to ground yourself. We do have grounding here. And the sun again. See that sun? For some of you also, this is going to come so fast. You're going to need to find a way, an outlet to calm your nerves because there's going to be a lot coming at you at once. But you are protected. Strong protective magic for the family and the home. But you are protected. On target, follow your ideal life path. You're on your path, yeah. It's happening. But you need to surrender Aquarius, okay? See, I was telling you, some of you are singers. The festival creates an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party or event. Some of you, yeah, definitely you're, you're into um, performing. You perform in front of a stage an audience on a stage sorry in front of an audience for people a lot and like i said you will be traveling a lot too we do have the sagittarius card some of you you're like spiritual teachers spiritual gurus something teachers you're teachers the energy of teacher you're supposed to share your knowledge you're supposed to share your secrets why am i hearing secrets you're supposed to share your light there's something about you that's very ethereal and that's very black like um chosen it's the kind of a, it's like chosen energy all right aquarius well hmm, happy birthday love it i finished the reading with you and it's your birthday i even forgot and we're in aquarius season gosh your new moon was so powerful damn it's the year of the rabbit as well which is a year of luck you guys have saturn and venus in your house no wonder you have taurus here which is ruled by venus so a lot of like blessings here for you a long-awaited like recognition is coming to you aquarius okay all right i love you guys thank you uh don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time check out my etsy everything is in the description box and i'll see you next time guys bye